diamond ring and twelve red roses Everything she ever wanted All those dreams and now they're finally here Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel So today's video is my second video of my wedding series here on my channel. Today we are talking all about wedding planning and how to start planning your wedding. So pretty much after everything's kind of settled in, you're kind of thinking about, okay, how are we gonna get this started? So today I'm just gonna be giving you guys some tips on how to actually start the process, so some resources you can use, and then just kind of share with you what I'm using. So if you guys are interested in watching, just stay tuned. All right guys, so basically after you're engaged and after you know you just kind of had a moment to just think about everything you really want to get started on you know planning the actual wedding and the great thing about wedding planning is that it's really all up to you and your fiance um, so you can decide if you want you know a long engagement a shorter engagement depending you know really what works best for you so once you figure out kind of when you want to get married and kind of like a timeline you can really start planning your wedding according to that. Um, so my number one tip for all brides to be is to create an account on the knot.com. That's something that has really, really helped me and I've heard that it's really helped a lot of other brides and it's just a great website. I'll link it down below, but the great thing about making an account on here is that it'll help you keep track of everything you have to do. Okay, so two days after we got engaged, I decided to log in to just kind of figure out how it worked and what it was all about and I realized that it was like super helpful Helpful. So I decided to make an account and at the time I really didn't have a date of when we were going to get married So I just kind of put in you know a date around what I thought would be um, The actual date and then the great thing about it is that it'll keep a little countdown for you So it'll tell you like how many days to go and it'll tell you what you should be getting done in each month Leading up to that date um, and then once we actually booked the place um, We were able to go ahead and you know adjust it and have it you know, more specific to our day. So I would definitely say make an account on there. That's gonna help you immensely just because they have links to everything from to venues, dresses, florists, photographers, everything. Um, so yeah, so that's definitely my number one rule. Um, the next thing that I would suggest is go ahead and start looking at different wedding planners. Now, now I'm not talking about the actual person, but I'm talking more about a journal or some type of binder that's going to have a lot of information for you to use. Um, so these binders are usually sold, um, you know, everywhere really. Um, I found mine at Barnes and Nobles, but pretty much what you got to do is look for one that's going to have a lot of information. Um, this is the one that I picked here. And it's by The Knot, the same website that I'm talking about. And it's The Knot Ultimate Wedding Planner and Organizer. And what these um, our four is basically to help you plan each different aspect of the wedding and I'll go into it a little bit further in a little bit but the main thing um, when searching for a wedding planner is to really look for one that is going to have a lot of information and that is generally credible. Now, I decided to go with the one from The Knot just because I know they have a lot of experience in wedding planning and I knew that they were going to be able to help me pinpoint you know, details that I might have missed. Um, so that's what I love about that one, but really just look for one that works best for you and then go forward with it. Um, and the great thing about these wedding planners are that they're going to give you a lot of different ideas um, and just help you kind of customize your wedding to something that's all about you, know, you and your fiance. So that's my second thing um, when wedding planning is to find yourself a good little um, wedding planner. Now the other two resources that I am using just to kind of help me with the planning is an agenda, so an actual uh, you know agenda with calendars and all that, and then also a plain notebook. So the agenda that I'm using is just the one that I've been using for every other um, area of my life. It's this one by Erin Conran that I got in the beginning of the year. And the reason why I didn't get like another one just for the wedding is because I did want to keep kind of the dates and everything in my actual planner because that way I can see kind of what else I have going on and kind of schedule accordingly. Just because if I had like an empty, you know, agenda with empty calendars, I wouldn't really know if I had something going on that day and I might book maybe like a meeting or something on a day where I have something going on. So I like, you know, just using the one that I've been using just so I can see what else I have going on. So that's what I'm using. 
is this one and then just a normal journal and I like just having one that's just has like plain lines in it just because that way you could take it with you so you might be going whenever you're looking at venues or whatever meetings you guys have then you can kind of you know jot down quick notes um, in some lined paper to help you remember details later on. So I found this one at Marshalls a couple of months ago um, and I had it and I was like this is perfect. Um, so it says best day ever and I just carry this with me in my bag along with my agenda to kind of help me stay organized. So those are the main things that I've been using so far. Um, of course I've been looking at a ton of different like magazines just to kind of just to kind of help me get inspiration for different things. So of course the bridal magazines are out there. They have a whole section um, you know depending where you get your magazines at. I got mine at Target and they have a whole section on brides um, magazines. Um, also, you know, going on Google, Pinterest, of course. I was already like a Pinterest fan before this and now I'm just kind of like pinning everywhere. A little tip for Pinterest though is that you're going to find a bajillion different ideas on there um, and some of them, you know, might be realistic for your wedding, some may not. So I would just use Pinterest with caution just because I know there's a lot of stuff out there and it might confuse you so just really stick to you know what you want to do your kind of vision for your wedding and go from there um, and just figure out what you really can do and stuff like that so yeah all right so now I'm actually gonna go ahead and give you an overall um, review on this planner in case you want to get this one um, so I'm going to be showing you kind of the different categories in it and kind of how to use it. Alright, so this is what the planner looks like here. When you open it up, you can see that it is laid out by different categories here. Um, so we'll go ahead and start looking at it. Um, the first page here is just kind of like a little letter from the editor-in-chief from The Knot. Um, and then as you get into it, it'll tell you kind of like how to use it. Um, it's really just and it's really great because it'll help you plan every single area of the actual wedding. So here you can write down your wedding contacts for like your reception, your caterer, you know, your efficient, all of that. If you're going to have wedding planner, you can put their information here. Just a way to have a quick glance of, you know, all the important contacts. Then you're going to get into the actual like color inspiration. So this will be good um, for you to just kind of use as swatches to figure out kind of what color scheme you want to go for of the wedding. Um, next, you'll get into inspiration. So this gives you kind of like tips on like how to find inspiration if you don't really know kind of what theme you want to go for. Um, it'll kind of help you figure it out like, you know, thinking about the big picture, talking it out with your with your fiance and just figuring things out. Um, the next tab here is timelet and budget. And this is an important one because it'll help you kind of figure out how much you really want to spend on your wedding and you know how you want to plan it out in terms of time so it'll give you tips as well on how to figure out when you want to have it and kind of how much you want to spend on things so here it'll tell you kind of like a list of things you got to do um, by month so if you're gonna have like a year to plan it'll tell you what to do 12 months in advance 9 to 10 9 to 11 months in advance 6 to 8 4 to 5 2 to 3 and then um, it'll go on and so on until like the day of and even post wedding of just details and things that you should be doing you know during that time to give you enough time to get everything done the next category here is guest list and invitations um, and this will give you kind of an overview of how to start crafting your guest list and look and kind of what your invitations should look like and all that so it gives you kind of information on that planning tips for invitations then you can include pictures here of like inspiration of different invitations. Um, next, it's venue and menu. Um, so this will give you ideas on how to pick your venue if you don't know already like what you want to go for on there. Um, and then you know all that. This will give you like a little sample seat chart of how you know you want to set your tables out um, and just kind of everything you could think of really. Um, next is dresses and accessories. Um, so this is really how to pick your wedding dress, um, accessories um, that go along with your dress and all that. Next is ceremony and bridal party. So this is all about figuring out who you want in your wedding and just kind of how to you know pick what you're gonna wear, all that. As part of the ceremony, you got to think about like, you know, your vows, if you guys want to write out your own vows or you want to do more traditional vows, what kind of 
um, you know, kind of what type of ceremony you're going for, um, all of that. So it'll give you information on that. Um, also give you information on like, um, you know, music, if you want to have instruments at the wedding. Um, next, about bridal party. So here it'll ask, to, you know, it'll give you tips on how to pick your bridal party, your maid of honor, your bridesmaids, all that, your groomsmen. Um, and this is like a parent cheat sheet for a bride. Um, so like if your parents want to invite friends, like how to go about, you know, figuring out how to do that. Um, more information, this is contact information for everyone in the bridal party so you can have in case you need to reach somebody, all that. Next, you're going to get into photos, video, and entertainment. So this is all about, you know, more details on that. So how to pick your photographers, you know, how to get your engagement pictures taken, you know, how not to, um, you know, sweat the little things, just kind of focus on the big picture, what kind of stuff style and theme you're going for, kind of what you want to include at your actual wedding, um, all of that. Here you can uh, just kind of lay out like pictures of, you know, kind of pictures that you want to have taken at the wedding. Here's contact information for your photographer. Then videography as well, how you want your video to look, what kind of ideas you're going for with the video, um, and then their contact information as well. Um, then on to the reception. So here you're talking all about how you want it, how you want your rece reception to flow. So if you want to have a you know, specific things going on during the reception, um, figuring all that out, um, you can include all that in here. Flowers and decor, of course, how to plan, what kind of flowers you want to have at the wedding. Um, that all will relate back to your theme and what you wanted your theme to be. Um, so that will, you know, you'll go into that. And here it gives you great, uh, it gives you pictures of the different like floral and bouquet arrangements that you can pick from, what's out there, kind of know what's what. And then the big day and beyond is the last um, little one here. So this is all about the day of. Um, so this will give you information on how to delegate like responsibilities between everyone. Um, you know, just last minute tips on everything. Um, making sure you confirm and contact and confirm about, you know, your vendors and all that. Um, and then, of course, um, wedding weekend accommodations, if you need to, you know, what you, where you're going to be staying at during the, the, your wedding night, all that, contact information for that, um, and all that. And then next, you're getting into kind of like um, your day of emergency bag. So it's great to plan out an emergency bag of just things that you want to include that you might have forgotten, like hairspray, nail file, safety pins, you never know what you'll need. And then also information on the honeymoon and kind of like your trip information there. And that's pretty much everything there. And then at, at the end, you just get like these little plastic, um, little, um, dividers here where you can put information in it and then at the, at the end it just says congratulations you made it all right guys so that's it for this video i hope you guys found it helpful let me know what other videos you want me to include in this wedding series by leaving me a comment down below just remember that this whole wedding planning everything is all about you and your fiance and celebrating with your family and with your friends so really just have fun with it, take it a step at a time, and try not to stress out too much because honestly, this is probably gonna be the best day of your life and you really want to enjoy every single moment of the process. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos up in your subscription box. Remember, you guys are all beautifully and wonderfully made and I will see you in the next video.